Well, good morning, campers. Here we are uh, back with the plumbing, and I finally got the right uh, half inch T for uh, hooking that valve and um, the connection there, and the one way valve, all together up to this blue pipe right here. And um, I'm also going to uh, work on that line right there and put in my strainer. So um, first thing I did is I put a screw in the bottom of this, this piece right here, to hold it upright. I'm not going to put the rest of them in because I want to be able to flex it around to um, to make my adjustments for the T in case it's a little bit off after I put it in. So I'm going to put that T in, then I'm going to put an extension down into that valve and uh, I'm going to get that done first, then I'll be back with you guys. Um, I tried to uh, put you up here on this stand, but there's so much tanglement down here and everything, uh, you just can't see it. So I'm just going to have to do it and show it to you. So I'm sorry about that. But um, I'll be back with you in just a minute. Oh, this is um, episode 26. And um, this is just continuing on with the plumbing. I'm going to be putting some bracketry um, under the under the bed here for the piping too and um, back there I already put one uh, right there I put a, a bracket on there to hold that pipe in there um, I modified some outside I'll show you what I did to them so we'll be able to screw them into that wall right there they had nails in them and I um, pulled the nails out and enlarged the uh, hole and put a screw through it so we can use screws into it and um, I'll go ahead and put those on too and show you guys all right, uh, give me a few minutes. I'll be back, back with you, okay? Okay, I'm back. The T's in. A matter of cutting it and just pushing it on, I put the extra screws back into the base after I got that lined up. I hooked on the water line. So that's the high pressure side. That's the pressurized side of the pump. There's the two pump wires. Then on the on the suction side of the pump, there is the, um, the little screen filter. It goes right there. Uh, this guy right here, that is the black pipe for the drain. I can there's a drain on the outside where I can drain this tank. Then it runs over to the tank, and the tank's a 42 gallon tank, freshwater tank, and. Um, I left the rubber floor in the bus for sound deadening. I didn't want to take it out. And um, I didn't see any reason for taking out any of this other stuff either. Um, it's just a bunch of hassle for nothing. It doesn't hurt anything there. You can use it for tie downs or whatever. Um, but the pump there, the SureFlow pump, that's the, that's the pump I chose right there. Um, it has rubber feet and it's mounted to a rubber floor. And this particular model is not very noisy anyway. So that should uh, be almost a silent operation on there. Now I can turn off the water if I need to service this area by, by my little uh, valve over there. And if I need to service the tank, I just drain it from the outside on the valve on the outside. So this end of it is pretty much done. And um, after I hook on some bracketry to the... Uh, to those lines there underneath where the travels underneath this bed here um, I think I'm going to be uh, just about ready to start in on my electrical um, I've got all the plumbing done the uh, plumbing to the sink is finished and um, that runs underneath this cabinet right behind me right here so um, and I already showed you guys that I think I'm pretty much done here other than uh, tightening that very lowest clamp that's on on that right there. And uh, I just uh, got all bound up down in there and couldn't reach it right. So I think I'm going to have to lay down under the bed to reach it because I can't seem to get down there close enough. My arms aren't long enough. It's uh, further down than it looks in the camera, I guess. Okay, so um, I guess the electrical's next, so we'll just move on. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. All right, my friends, this is what we have under the bed. 
This is where the lines come down from up here where the shower diverter is. And these run backwards toward the uh, pump. And that's where I was working, just on the other side of that wall. So see how these are all hanging here? I need to hook them to that wall back there. So um, I've developed some clips and I'll show them to you. We'll go out and take a look. Okay, this here is a normal PEX clip right here. It's got a little nail in it with some ridges in it. That wasn't going to work for the bus. So what I did is I just took a pair of pliers here, pulled that nail out, and ran a little uh, teeny drill through there, then added these screws. So these screws are going to hold these onto the wall and hold my PEX lines in place. So, so that's the difference between what I did right there. So um, I think that'll work just fine. We'll go give it a test. Okay, so I got a couple of them in. And I'm just going to continue on, put two more right over here. And that should fix it up pretty good. They just uh, clip on like that. And uh, I won't be able to screw these in one handed. But See, that should take care of it. All right, I'll catch you in a minute. Hey friends, I think I'm gonna call this uh, an end of the video for uh, doing the plumbing. Um, we're gonna be moving on to the electrical and also um, putting in these covers on these doors here and the plenum, the plenum for, uh, plenum for this here, the, the water heater. And uh, I've got the stuff right here. Got all the stuff ready to go. Um, I've got the, uh, the piping for the exhaust. I got the flex pipe. This is the panel that's going to um, go over top of the heater. And um, yeah, I think we're gonna start in on that. And uh, we're gonna call this a day. So uh, I'll see you on episode 27. See you guys. Bye.